Alright guys, so what's up though? I'm back to today. We're talking about video more do really well, of course. I meant to say yes, finally, finally, finally. I would do the two mixed up anyway though. So yes, we got the new new stuff at Festival Global right now. It's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So yeah, um he's a new unit coming to um global and stuff like that. Um everybody in the moment speculating this guy coming to global everybody's like, oh yeah, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, you're wrong, shut up. Um but no, just in general though, we already knew he was coming up anyway. Um it's not him or Bell Jack. Bell Jack probably has to be next March. Um Maybe a couple weeks in March, and then after that we'll probably see, um, yeah, because Gogeta is coming now, then like him being probably the Queen Valentine's Day, we could get something. Um, he'll probably be, be half the month of February. Then, of course, you know, going on and stuff like that, he'll probably be highly dumb, you know, next year and stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, like I said previously, though, he um, will be in that Drunken Festival Global in February. I'm um, probably going to Valentine's Day, because we're going to get something for Valentine's Day, like we did last year for Global only, though. It was something a little bit small, but still, the meaning was still kind of there. Um, really hot right now, Marvin's really hot, show up by the way. Um, but yeah, um, he's gonna be the next unit, he's in Gogeta, um, so for example, um, he actually is a really good unit though, of course. Um, I'm actually using my mouse beforehand, I'll just keep doing it. Um, we're getting Shadow Dragon Saga stage, have, which has, um, Shadow Dragon Saga equipment, specifically, for this event, we got that, hey, it's like, hey, event, it's like, you yeah, it was over? Sorry, no. Just a little bit of extra stage added to the event, and stuff like that, so yeah. So this is a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta coming to Global, yes, yeah, seeing the screen once more, still awesome. I still love the Dope Fest teams, are it looks like really good. I like it. Um, but yeah, um, because that's um, from his active skill, I think, because he has active skill. Um, I know I've been sure been doing like super battle royal runs for him a lot lately, so yeah. Um, so yeah, this guy, um, he does lead up the new graded power category, Q2, everything up 170, and he does, um, or Shadow Dragon Saga so Key, same thing, just up everything 150. Um, first attack defense for one turn, image damage really good. He does a lot for his passive. He, he's really like a mini version. I said uh, he's like a mini version of LR Jiren because of the attack and defense plus 200. As that's really good. He gave himself keys really good. Um, up, 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 up defense. Again, he's still good though, but he's not really like. I see. No, he is good for uh, future super battle world. Um, because Global has some units over JP, doesn't, and JP has units over Global, doesn't. But they should just catch up with teams at this point if they're gonna keep doing this. So both units can have them at the same time. Dang, I really am going my inner truth right now because he usually just like, does say that. Um, I can kind of agree now because you know, some units of Global, Global has, JP doesn't have some of these units. Global got some early, JP didn't get some early. I think the guy goes for also pretty solid as well. Again, I, I never really beat the full passive because I put over him pretty much already. Plus, I kind of want to wrap up this video. I got another one to do, and I'm pretty much honestly done for the rest of the day. So, yeah, he actually is a really good unit, though. Really, really good. I think I talked about him a lot when I came out. Um, so, yeah. Um, again, he is effective against all types. Uh, for eight turns, then, of course, um, he is going to be effective against, um, you know, yeah, effective against all types for eight turns at the start of a turn. And um, he has another high chance um, of, you know, attack, doing another attack effective against all types for nine turns. A little bit of a higher chance, and he can dodge, of course, and dodge and counter super attacks. Um, you know, with tremendous power, it's like every super Saiyan 4 unit can. Um, think about this guy coming for early for global. This week's super guy's category, the great power category right there for global. Essentially, every person who's gone great, eight, even Dragon Ball Super Pro is on here, I believe. Yeah, all grabs are on here. Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is on here. That the Dragon Ball Hero stuff kind of coming early. We already got a glimpse of what the category pretty much is already. It's actually like a really good category. I love this category. I love using, um, yeah, yeah, never use not gonna be hit and miss. Like, it's kind of like all separate, you know, in a way, because you know, let's see, Bardo, some Raditz, Vegeta. And again, it's every grade in the game and stuff like that, essentially. So, yeah, it sends you our Super Saiyan 4 category. I actually do like the category. It's actually really good. Um, again, you can use full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, you use Cumber. Um, he counts for great power. But again, the main Super Saiyan 4 is Dragon Ball Brothers on here. That's really good. Um, you should have some versions on there because that's completely different. Um, but yeah, like I said previously, though, we already got stuff kind of completely early for Global, so I already know what's kind of coming. These are the only leaders. Super Saiyan 4 Goku will be the main leader now. Broly was, now he's going to be under being replaced. And Gohan was a little bit, then of course, now he got replaced and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, for Global, it's gotten a, lot, a little bit better with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Not that much. Actually, yeah, a lot better, actually, because uh, we could do a Shadow Dragon Saga and that. Um, it kept me up both ways, Super Power Road and stuff like that. Um, that's going to go pretty good, honestly. So yeah, um, we got a new Nova Shimron. Um, he's really more of a... Um, I see actually really good solid unit though. Again, all these banner side units have gotten a lot better. It's mainly just like, um, you know, um, he's actually a good guy, no, because it's actually come after, you know, Goku eats the Dragon Wall, comes back and stuff like that. So yeah, um, again, you know, the Shadow Dragon kind of side of support, um, for all like, your enemies and stuff like that specifically though. But he does both of your allies attack, um, defense by 40%. Yeah, he does, he does actually do a lot though for his guy. He does a lot. Um, again, probably talk about more when he comes out and stuff like that. So I kind of want to say that for that specifically though. But yeah, um, he is coming to Global, um, with a Super Safe for Vegeta for a side unit banner. If you want someone for Guy wait till later because you know I mean he's good though but again um I mean, actually he can go fortunate because he has crit and stuff like that the only way taking a shroom class enemies though so um criminal enemies 
get it. I'm mean, indefinitely though, so you can basically honestly they use them like for only Shadow Dark and Saga Pacific, like the Trim Plus enemies and stuff like that. So, oh no, just in general, he can do um, every time he's playing a sent in the game, he's gonna get full crit, and that's like pretty much half of the game already though so yeah again her villains we need like you know like a dragon ball zero everybody's been speculating for like saying day and like, like lots of little villains and stuff like that of course for like saying day and stuff like that specifically which is in general though we need more villains in the game because again we can't really kind of utilize this if you utilize this part of his passive for the print um unless you're fighting like i say like villains and stuff like that of course uh, we got a new greater Vegeta, of course. He's a new upgraded um, bleeder and stuff like that um, for free to play units. Um, he's actually pretty solid, though. He's okay. Again, he, when he gets these EAs later on in the future, he'll, be all, he'll probably be good. So, this is when we go um, roll and transform him to Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, he cheated his way to Super Saiyan 4. Um, if you really want to go that right now, I'm not a little person. Yeah. Um, he will be part of this new story event right here, which basically you know, is his is kind of different, though, because he goes to every Saiyan Saga, every like, main battle like, which, for Vegeta. Um, Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, Banshee Borg, basically all those fights against Goku. He's just literally a self reflection episode. Um, when that first when that was first coming out, again I'll leave the video somewhere around me. I might tend to kind of do it though. But yeah, like I said though previously, um, he'll be like you know just like from all the episodes from my demos. I said I do like that episode though as a kid. I was watching that as, in GT as a kid. Um, that was actually really solid though. Um, but yeah, like I said previously though, um, this guy will be um a new free play unit from the story event. It's pretty short though. I was say again, just if you're fighting clearly, just Goku a lot. So yeah, was you want to do some family Goku showcases? There you go. Family Goku family showcases. There you go. Shadow Dragon Saga will get another buff. You can do oh you only do it once a day. So yeah, and again, Shadow Dragon Saga units will be the best bet for this. Um, you can fight um, either GT Goku or GT Vegeta, and you'll get the Super Saiyan fours. That'll give you a little bit more. Like you know, um, they'll give you a little bit more. You know, high chance to get silver and gold. Again, it's time to event where you get like a lot of silver and gold and stuff like that. So yeah, again, um, after defeating it, yeah, you do, you will get guaranteed gold. Once you beat Goku and or Vegeta, um, they can be either one though. That's for example, Goku and Vegeta specifically. You'll get full gold equipment, so it's really good though, of course. So yeah, um, again, that's more of a little minor thing. You don't have to do it every single day, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Plus, if it goes away, it's gonna be back in the gold and like in the, in the green key section. I'm um, gonna go like a couple more days so until because this will be all like Monday, Sunday, so when Jake is getting there, celebrating the anniversary, Global will have this because I remember last year on Future Gohan. He wasn't out on the 30. No, we got the day of download on 31st, but I think he came out like on the 31st ish. So yeah, um, this makes sense. He's in Future, future Gohan's time slot this year, so yeah. Um, but the first this is banner though, by the way, it will change, it will subject, subject to change. Oh god, I forgot about all the Gohan and Goats in. Oh god, yeah, they're gonna be on the banner too. Oh, man, the thing is though, at times, we still do not know the banner for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta just yet, specifically though. But I mean, for um, the LR, you know, Mech the LR units for the new anniversary. Again, I'll leave the video somewhere around for you guys, or on the app above, somewhere over there. Um, this banner will be different because Kefla right here will not be on the banner at all. Again, she will not be on the banner at all this time around because she just came back from Frieza's banner. And on top of that, she just came back. Um, um, no, she just walked out, I think. No, she just... No, she, no, she was just on Frieza's banner and she was just on the download so the um, million download celebration banner, which will be today. But, no, no, I didn't get the last night for over day number one. So yeah, again, the banner will change. I don't know who they can bring in. Now it's going to go on, not probably... Who could they bring in? in, in about, yeah, well, in, in, no, because he'll be on the freaking he'll, he'll be on the Bojack banner right here. I believe that's my saying. Oh, he'll be on the Bojack banner right here. So I can't put him there. Not injured 13 because he's gonna be on the banner as well. I'm glad they pulled this banner though. So yeah, um, I think in March we could get Bojack. Then you know, rest of that time is gonna be Saiyan Day. Um, for March and stuff like that. So and then March, or you know, during the half of the month of March, we'll get budget. It makes sense because he's green and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the perfect St. Patrick's Day celebration right there. You know, green. Yeah, there you go. Um, this will be all be in March. Then on same day because we'll get on um, your same day units like uh, from last year. Um, yeah, all going to go to be on the banner really does suck. Um, it really, highly, highly does suck though, but they're gonna be on that banner. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is still good. Omega has ages a lot. These guys just got replaced. I mean, the banner's okay. You don't need to summon on it though. Honestly, I'll probably say that at this point. I know a lot of people are gonna summon on it anyway. If we hit number one, I'm not gonna be really shocked because everybody really wants to summon for his guy. He's good, he's amazing. Everybody's gonna summon for him anyway though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then I think right here is Charles' banner. Everybody's thinking Charles could come out too. His banner does suck though. It's, it's absolute far or garbage. Do not summon on this garbage dumpster fire. Of a Saiyan banner. I think the blue one as well. Charles is actually really good, one of the best LRs in the game. His banner does suck. Charles, I mean, all these guys are okay. Actually, you know, this feels good. Goku sucks. You're good. You suck. You're actually still really good. You're actually still really good. You're okay. You're good for World Tournament. You're actually really good. You're good. You're good. You're good. But yeah, overall, though, the banner does suck. You can get all these guys in the future anyway, like I said before. A lot of banners, blah, blah, yellow coin, blah. 
I'm not saying it also gets easy, it's all completely forgot by the turn to bank. Mirror Toe will be officially back on there as well. I think we go with Funkin's Awakening. Again, they're, they're okay. They're all pretty okay. They're okay. Besides, Toe's actually like, really good. Matt Sane's really good for Super Battle Road. I think we should get him himself. We should get him in the um, info and stuff like that. Um, I guess we'll have this stuff to kind of be like, oh yeah, Global's only behind the before Doke effects and stuff like that. Maybe Pika, they did this. A lot of people like, oh yeah, where's Pika and Janimba? Um, they'll be on Global in May, because that's um to be that. No, actually, probably June though, because that's um, where the time slot is. Or May, because Goku and Majin Vegeta came out last year in May. So for Goku going on the Goten Day, no, because they might do Global first. Because after Bojack, yeah, after this Bojack right here, we're going to have, we don't know, that's going to be a house, uh, slot for Global first, probably in April. Or in May. Every, other April or May, because, you know, Global's going to go two months without something. Uh, Tro Ooh, Troll's going to be in May. No, so it's gonna probably be for they you know, like push in May though. You know, April. They'll have Patrolis in April. Probably bring up some bring up some more side easy units you know, and stuff like that. Or it gives you know, usually tight easy at celebrations. So I'm not saying we'll get ZZ in the celebration as well. I think this is the chain battle that Globals might get, but we just got one again. This happened the last time before Andre, so we just got his. This one will probably be in celebration for like probably more just stuff like that. But again, they kind of tend to take them. They kind of I'll go on a little bit about this. Yeah, um, the only huge can they're actually using just all super saint for Gogeta's, Goku, and that good friend of Goku right there. Again, you can use really suck right there, but overall the categories are pretty okay. I mean, Human Deeds actually really good for the villains. Jail Dragon Saga and Great are pretty much okay in that department. Jail Dragon Saga is like black. Great is pretty okay though, so yeah. But I did go ahead and video here, and I think all this stuff was already up for Global. Yeah, these are all awakenings for Demigra. Um, yeah, they all do click on my same medals. Um, so there we go. I do, oh, you do collect the Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, so that will probably be a- Oh, they can replace- They can probably bring back Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, and, but- Yeah, they could bring back Super Saiyan 2 Bardock for Gogeta's banner. That actually doesn't make sense. Freeze already got his campaign celebration. Um, Chain Battle for Omega, we'll probably get that for Global soon. Um, try to think of it though. Mass Saiyan. Is this, is this Super Saiyan for Gogeta right here? What's his banner? Yeah, they could put him on there. And they could actually put him on there. That makes sense, because Mass Saiyan is easy. I don't know what to think though, so yeah. Um, that's full info, all for all units. Again, go go over the more they come out and stuff like that, of course, like I said. Um, other new stuff coming to Global, we got Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta coming to Global. What do you guys think? How you like it? Stuff like that. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'm sweating right now because I'm really hot in this room. So yeah, I'll be seeing my head gloss of being like a turkey on Thanksgiving. There you go. Looking like a great a Vegeta's Widow's Pig. Like a great a Vegeta's Widow's Pig right there. So, I mean, you can't really, you can't see it though, but yeah. All new units coming to Global, lots of new um, easy answers from saying that should be up soon. I completely forgot about that when I'm going over the video. Matt, um, Shadow Dragon Saga, Shadow Dragon Saga, um, great equipment. So, what you gotta think though, I mean, Shadow Dragon Saga equipment, what you gotta think, all this stuff. Gonna go into here really hot, really hot, my back's hurting. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All good junk again, though. Stay safe, wash your hands, God bless everything. That'll be everything coming for Global soon. What you guys think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I really love it. Again, probably skip this banner. I mean, we're probably gonna you know. The anniversary banners for the 6th anniversary before this guy. This banner is pretty okay. Nothing the rest in the world. Specifically, so Vegeta himself acts is a really good unit. He's worth it. But his banner just, it's okay. It's just not, it's not as good as he's now a day banner and stuff like that. The Vegeta banner was way better. I don't know what they were thinking with this guy. I don't know what band I was smoking that day. They were smoking something good. Um, they were smoking that great Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta stuff. I don't know what they were doing. But yeah. So you guys are though. Again, they were, so, they were smoking the Super Saiyan 4 furries because they know they're going to come back with the anniversary. So, so you guys are though. Again, though. It's out.